little bit more about what I did in the Introduction to Music and Education seminar. So I have with me my binder of everything that we did in this course. Um, and I'm not just going to read through it for you because that's a bit intense. But I'd like to tell you exactly what we did chronologically. So the first thing that we did in the semester was to talk about who was an exemplary teacher in our life. For me, as included in my um, triple entry tab, I had um, an essay about my professor in my undergrad and um, how inspirational he was to me. And we shared all of these stories with everybody else in the class and it was just a really interesting moment to find so many similarities in what makes an exemplary teacher, but also so many differences that were unique to each person. The next thing we did was to talk about ourselves, and this was our first triple entry journal. We went around the room and we said what we did, what, why we were interested in teaching, um, and then we commented on each other, that was our subjective response. Um, uh, for example, Devin, a student in our class, he said that he wanted to keep ideas fresh until his dying day. And so, of course, my subjective response was, what a serious educator with a lot of passion and commitment. Um, and the implication for uh, teaching or for the future for others is that, you know, Devin might be a good research to go to for inspiration if ever you get down. Um, and it's good to keep that passion alive when you're teaching. So then we moved on to the CUPS exercise, which I've already spoken to you about. We did a triple entry journal for that. And then um, we actually spent quite a bit of time on the CUPS exercise. We have many, many weeks of sharing our exercise with each other. And I actually went through a lot of trial and error to come up with my German um, diction idea. I, I began thinking about, well, let's study harmony with emotions. So, like, I'm feeling, um, like, do me so, like, I'm feeling awesome. I'm feeling do me so. Um, but I didn't really know where to take that. So then I moved on to the idea of conducting. And I thought, maybe I can teach basic conducting with the cups. I wasn't sure how I was going to do that yet, but I thought, well, maybe I'll teach rhythms. Maybe I can do, like, three against two, like, follow the yellow brick road, not in Kansas, not in Kansas, and see if I could have the class go against those and see about doing some kind of a basic conducting exercise. But I got a little stuck and didn't know what to do with it. So I moved on, and that's when I finally settled on the German diction exercise. Um, even though originally I was going to do Italian diction, I did, I did decide that German diction would be easier. So then we talked about what exactly it means to make this cup exercise. What, what does this process entail? So it entails listening, questioning, investigation, the scientific method. Um, it also involves creativity, performance, reflection, and self-assessment. So thinking about all these possible connections and all these other processes, then we can find out, oh, okay, so some of these cups exercises are actually um, mathematical, linguistic, not just musical. And so that was the, the interesting part is that they have this wider range. Um, we also discussed the concepts that we could teach. We could teach about a linguistic connection. We could teach rhythm, subdivision, pattern, uh, periodicity or counter rhythm solfege, pitch, coordination. These are all different concepts that my colleagues use in their cups exercises. Um, in my cups exercise, I, I taught language, speech, and a little bit of singing. So not as many of the rhythm and, and pitch and things as my colleagues, but um, definitely a strong linguistic portion. Um, so that was a lot of time spent on the cups exercise, and then we went back to the exemplary teacher model. Um, let me just turn back to that. Okay. So, in, instead of talking
talking just about an exemplary teacher, then we turn to an exemplary music teacher. And that's what I'll talk about in my next video.